Today at MetaConnect, Meta is announcing its second gen smart glasses, and with a new generation comes a updated name. So what we have here are the Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. Now, as before, you still get the choice of the Wayfarers, but there's also a second style joining the family right here, which are the headliners. And it seems like Meta has done a lot of work to really streamline and improve the tech on its second gen smart glasses. So let's put them on and check them out. With its latest fancy high-tech sunglasses, it really feels like Meta has done a complete overhaul of the platform. That means you're getting improved photography, upgraded audio, new water resistance, and even support for live streaming. And I gotta say, I think they look better too. This time, in addition to classic shiny and matte black frames, you have the option to choose from three transparent new colors, jeans, caramel, and a smoky rebel black. And when you factor in water support for different lens types, there are a ton of combinations you can create to suit your style. On the tech side, there are a ton of enhanced capabilities. The resolution of the camera has jumped from 5 to 12 megapixels, along with way more storage. 32 gigs compared to just 4 on the previous model. You can also now record full 1080p videos, though clips are capped at just 60 seconds each. That said, if you do want to shoot something longer, Meta Smart Glasses can now also live stream directly to Facebook or Instagram with the help of a nearby phone. And despite these increased capabilities, battery life seems to be going up a little bit too, with Meta claiming about six hours of mixed use, or around four if you're live streaming. So another really interesting upgrade is that uh, Meta has included five cameras across the smart glasses. So there's one hidden here in the nose piece, which is designed specifically to give you clear voice during calls and stuff like that. But there's also two that are hidden behind the logos on each side, uh, right here, and really inside the R on the Ray-Ban. And then there's two more down here, one here and right there. On the standard black ones, you can't really see this, but on some of the more transparent colors, like these jeans colors that we have right here, you can see a lot of the interior components. Uh, so starting right here, we have the uh, speakers or the drivers that are inside the arm of the sunglasses. And then over here, you can kind of see where the touch panel is. Um, and that's where you can control by swiping or tapping. And then on top, we have the capture button, which is easy. You can uh, single click to take a picture or double click to launch into live streaming. And then over here on the tail of the arm, you can kind of see the sensors, which is how the smart glasses detect when you put them on. So if I do tap once, that's to start music, and then uh, tap again to pause, and then you can uh, skip track by doing a double tap, um, and then pause again, and then if you want to, well, I'll start playing the music, and if you want to lower the volume, just go back like that. Uh, volume up is forward. If I want to take a picture at any time, I can just do the capture button like this. If you want to take a video, you can just press and hold like that. Uh, but the smart glasses do support voice control, so if you want to use your voice to start a video, you can say, hey Meta, take a video, and that should work too. And one interesting thing is that the speakers uh, inside the smart glasses, uh, you know, they'll give you feedback so you know when you're doing voice command, so you make sure that, hey, did I get the video, did I not get the video, you definitely know. Another improvement on the second gen smart glasses is that the speakers inside the smart glasses are about 50% louder than before, but they also leak less sound than before too. So if I start playing a song right now, I can hear the music, it sounds awesome, but there's less chance that people around me can hear what I'm doing. And that's great because you might not necessarily want other people on the subway or the train or at the cafe listening to me, your music or podcast with you. And that's a really great improvement. And if that's not enough, Meta has totally redesigned the Meta View app to better highlight new features and make existing ones easier to find and use. You can even use voice controls to automatically send pics of friends, with the Meta View app learning your habits over time to make sure it's using the right messaging service and picking the right contact. On the privacy side, Meta also added a new LED indicator, which is that little lens on the left side of the glasses that's even brighter than before, so there won't be any confusion about when you're taking a pic or video. But the coolest part is that Meta says if you try to cover up that LED, the glasses will block your ability to capture anything at all, meaning there's no chance you can snap a pic of someone without them knowing. Finally, when you need to recharge, Meta smart glasses come with a smaller charging case designed to look just like a classic Ray-Ban one. The difference is that Meta's come with a handy indicator light, a USB-C port on the bottom for topping it up, and the ability to hold eight additional chargers for a total runtime of around 36 hours. That means if you're stashing the glasses in their case throughout the day, you probably won't ever have to worry about battery life during normal conditions. All told, it seems like Meta has upgraded pretty much everything about the previous model. And with pre-orders going live today and official sales slated for October 17th, it won't be too long until you can try them out for yourself. So now that we've had a chance to use these things for a bit, now I have to admit right away that I am not the biggest social media fanatic. That said, I really like what Meta has done to streamline these devices and improve the tech on them at the same time. The speakers are way louder, they leak less sound, and the camera is much sharper than before. On top of that, between the two different styles, you have the Wayfarers and the Headliners, and all the different lens and color combinations, Meta says there are over 100 different styles and combos to choose from. But perhaps the best part is that the price is staying the same at $299. And if you want polarized lenses, there will be options available for that starting at 329. And you can even get transition lenses with models starting at 379. Now, all that said, is this enough to get me to trade in my regular Ray-Bans for Meta's smart glasses? I'm not entirely sure just yet, but I am definitely intrigued. But what do you think? Are these finally stylish and slim enough for you to get on board? Let me know in the comments down below. 
And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos, news, and